Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, if you actually install the Patch Tuesday updates from uh, this week on July 12th, well, you might have seen this on Windows 8.1. There is a pop-up that now actually shows you the version of Windows is nearing the end of support. And it tells you that January 10th, 2023 is the last day Microsoft will offer security updates. So it starts like that. It's a full screen. Um, it's full screen. And you have remind me later. Or if you don't want to be nagged again, you just click and remind me after the end of support date. So that means it's not going to show again until January. Um, and at the same time, answering a couple of questions of people that have Windows 8.1 still and using it. One is about what if I do nothing after January? Is my computer going to stop working? No, it's not. Uh, pretty much all versions of Windows is like that. When you have uh, reach end of support, Windows continues working, but it gets more and more dangerous to use as time goes by if it's connected to the Internet because you don't have the security updates. So all the security flaws, all the security holes in the operating system continue to accumulate. For example, Windows 7 right now would have hundreds and hundreds of security flaws that are easy to exploit, zero days, hackers out there already exploiting them. And no, an antivirus is not protecting you. There's no software that protects you against that at all. So if you're using Windows 7 thinking you're safe, you're wrong and you don't even know you're getting snooped and you're getting, um, you know, probably uh, accounts stolen and all of uh, the and malware could actually be installed and so on. It is as simple as that. There's no security at all and there's no way to be secure. Uh, anyone saying on Windows 7, yeah, well, I know what I'm doing. No, you're not. If you're using Windows 7 without support, without updates, you clearly don't know what you're doing. Windows 8.1 will be the same next year as it will be more and more unsecure to use. Um, the other question is, can I still have an upgrade for free to Windows 10? Yes, it still works. Um, and there are a few, a few ways to do it. The best is to try a, um, you can try an upgrade. So you can try the upgrade to Windows 10 and see if with the product key that is. In most Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 machines, the uh, when the product key is often embedded within the system. And see how it goes and if it actually gives you a activated system. Uh, or else you can uh, try to find your product key and do a clean install. Enter the Windows 8.1 product key or Windows 8 product key in the product key when it's asked for. It That is a loophole that still works going to give you a free ride to Windows 10, so you'll be able to continue using your PC. Uh, one of the things that has shown, because I had a few people saying apparently there are things in incompatible. Yes, there are Windows 8 machines that have problems going to Windows 10. I have seen that. I've seen some that, uh, for example, HDMI output for the audio video doesn't work, or certain drivers, so no, no sound, or there are weird things happening. Definitely. Uh, Windows 8, you know, is an old system. It means your PC is pretty old if it came with Windows 8. And there are a few Windows 8 machines that, uh, uh, yes, do not work well with Windows 10 uh, out there. It uh, There definitely are. But most of them should. Most of them should be compatible with Windows 10. And forget about Windows 11 unless you want to try unsupported because... A Windows 8 machine does not have the minimum requirement, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.